So we left Cuba today. It was a wonderful little town. It has McDonald's. <laughs> uh, it's got a couple good restaurants. And we stayed at the Cuban Lodge where we had the nicest woman uh, who owns it. Her name is Flora. She loves hikers and she's just so great. So if you ever go to Cuba, definitely stay at the Cuban Lodge. Now we have about 105 miles till we get to Grants where I think we'll take a day off, but we've got a lot of desert in between us and there, and it's supposed to be so cold. Uh, tonight I think it's supposed to be 15, tomorrow, tomorrow night it's supposed to be 10. So there's just like this cold front coming through for a couple nights. Uh, during the day it's supposed to be wonderful, but the night, super cold. But if we only have to do it for two nights, that's fine. Because then after that, I think it's in the 20s and the 30s for hopefully the rest of the trail. And 10 day forecast, it says it's supposed to be sunny every day. So that's what we like to see when we're out here. Right now, we are at Crystal's house. She has welcomed us in here and she made us homemade chicken noodle soup and homemade bread. And it's so amazing. <laughs> She's amazing. <laughs> Her house is beautiful. Yeah. She keeps one of the water caches on the trail. So when you're coming to New Mexico, um, you'll see her cache, or maybe you'll even be lucky enough to see her or meet her. But uh, she's, yeah, a keeper of the trail and she's amazing. <laughs> Thank you. So yesterday we only did like 11 and a half miles and it was so cold. And last night it was getting down to like five degrees or zero degrees. And we, uh, we were hiking and we've been hiking around about maybe five other people or so. And we, met up or, you know, ran into all of them at a water cache. And we were really looking forward to this water cache. And then all of the water was frozen. Solid. <laughs> frozen solid. And this was in the middle of the day. You know, this is like one o'clock. And so we're like, well, this is not good because if we want to continue on today, we have to assume that the rest of our water sources are frozen. And, you know, all of us were kind of banking on that water source or that water cache, um, which is kept by Crystal Trujillo and her family. And so all of us kind of sat there talking and kind of figured out that, well, we're not going to have water for the rest of the day and maybe even into today. And it's going to be super cold. It's probably not safe to stay out. So we contacted Crystal Trujillo and she graciously came and picked us up and drove us back to Cuba <laughs> where we all stayed the night last night and all had dinner together. It was really wonderful. And now we are back out on trail heading towards Grants again. And it's supposed to be real cold again tonight. I think like maybe 12 or 15. But, you know, it's like 10 degrees warmer than last night, so that's good. And we filled up a ton with water so we don't have to worry about getting any water today and maybe most of tomorrow. And we'll see how tomorrow goes. And hopefully we survive the night. <laughs> so we're currently climbing up to Mount Taylor, which is another alternate on the CDT. Well, depending on what app you look at. Some say it's the normal way out, some say it's the alternate, but we're climbing up it. And uh, it is a mountain that is very sacred to Native Americans. And it's our last 11,000 foot peak. We will not get any higher than that. I don't think we'll get higher than like 7,000 feet maybe the rest of the trail. So I'm happy and sad. It's our last big climb, <clears throat> but we decided that we'd do it 
and we are gonna go almost 30 miles today so that we can get into town so we're gonna push it right yeah <laughs> <laughs> up Mount Taylor 11,300 feet and it's beautiful views it's a little a little like cloudy but not too bad it's pretty awesome though you can see really far <laughs> we got some windmills over there and that's our last big climb of the CDT <sighs> feels pretty good actually <laughs> Here we are, night hiking. The sun is just going down on our 30 mile day. It's almost seven o'clock and I think we still have, how many miles do you think we have? Three, four, wow, almost fell. <laughs> uh, yeah, three or four, we've got our headlamps ready because we night hike all the time <laughs> now. But we're making it to Grant no matter what. What happens in New Mexico after it rains? Oh my god! <laughs> We are officially finally leaving Grants, New Mexico after being there for six days because the both of us were deathly ill for many days. And so we stayed at the Super 8 <laughs> where we felt like we lived uh, and where we felt like we were going to live forever. But we're back on trail. We are feeling healthy and strong. And now we have many, many miles of road walking ahead of us. <laughs>
continuing our road walk to, towards Pie Town right now. And it is so foggy! It's kind of making me nervous because the cars can't see us as well. But at least we can hear them. And if they come, you know, we'll just run to the side of the road because there's not much of a shoulder. I'm hoping the sun will come out and burn this fog away. We're now walking on a dirt road, which is so much better than a paved road. And we've got t-shirts and shorts on now. So nice. Here, there's water at this ranch, the TLC ranch. They're super hiker friendly and they expect hikers, is what one of the comments on Goodhook said. So we're gonna come and get some water. Whoa. Oh no! So last night we stayed at the Toaster House in Pie Town, which is run by a wonderful woman named Nita. It is a donation based hostel. Um, so or as long as you can do some chores or things like that, but obviously it's called the Toaster House because there's a lot of old toasters outside. But it was super awesome, super nice in there. And uh, yeah, it's just a really wonderful stop. It's a ride on trail. And Pie Town is so cute. Um, we went to the Ohana Cafe, uh, the Pie Town Cafe. And when you're hiking out of town, they give you a free piece of pie. So I just had an amazing piece of pecan pie. And now we're ready to tackle the next like 130 miles or so. Uh, we're not stopping until we get to Doc Campbell's. So we've got really heavy packs right now. Um, and we've got to carry a lot of water too. But we're excited to get into the Gila National Forest here in about, oh, I'd say 40 miles maybe, 45 miles. Just got to get there. We've got a little bit of a road walk again.